can't say that looks about right. Can't wait to get vision of death. That'll make things a lot easier. Anyway, welcome back everybody to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In the last episode, we got some smut from Mr. Isaac Abrams and he made us watch it with him, which was awkward. But it turns out it was a snuff film, so it, that just made it even more awkward. So now, basically, he wants us to, you know, ask some local smut peddlers about some stuff. And... Nope. And basically, before we do that... Like, we go, before we go to the sin bin, which is where we need to be going, I want to get another quest that involves going there. Which involves us going over here to this place called Vesuvius. Sin bin's over here anyway. <laughs> now. This place is a strip club. <laughs> the girls are basically topless. So... I will handle posting this on YouTube in the most appropriate manner possible. Once this loads. Come on. Oh, shit. Nope. No fan service for you guys. Ah. Oh, hello. Look what just walked in. I can't imagine you get much of a rise out of Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. You're hot. <laughs> I can almost feel your texture. What is it? I think. Should get to know each other a little better. What the fuck is that? Where we can be ourselves. Come up to my room. Just fourteen little steps. I'll make. It's kind of weird how you know exactly how many it costs. Is it your good intention? Is is your good intention is just a snare? Uh, actually, no, wait, that's kind of rude. Uh, haunt, whatever. You guys didn't see it. And the greatest part is, I got to deprive you guys of seeing topless chicks. I'm so evil. Well, I mean, hey, at least you get to see some chick running around in a thong. Hello. Isn't this better? You and me alone? For just a little while. Away from jihad and the nonsense. And the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment. But there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. You put, you put the adore in Tori, or I mean, no, seriously. Uh, before she even introduces herself, I will. This is Velvet. She's a Tori. If, if you haven't been able to tell yet, she's a Tori adore. And just... Damn. She's attractive, yeah. Uh, she's one of those stereotypical vampires that become very attractive when you bit them. But then again, you never know what she was like when she was a human, so meh. Oh yes. What gave me away? <laughs> I'm warmed by your passion. Mm. How absolutely intoxicating for you to notice. I'm beginning to think bringing you up here was an even better idea than I thought. The reason I asked you up here is because I... And the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. Oh no. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Makes sense. <laughs> oh my god, number one is so tempting. Hunters fight, hunters cry, hunters dance, and hunters die. That may be so. But some kind are skilled beyond all our ability. Some in the arts, some in murder. If they smell a corpse, I'll bury it. I'm Velvet. Velour. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? If I've by celebrity you mean King LaCroix's bitch. So, what would you like to know about me? <laughs> I figured you are. I figured you out already. Tell me of the hunter. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down a list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. 
We'll find out who Ash is later. I usually keep them under my feet. For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in a locker and I fired her. But she's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. I can make it so she never watches you and breathes dirt. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. Nah. The experience is worth it. I like hearing hunters and kill in the same sentence. Oh, there they are again. You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. I don't like immediately assuming. Um, eh, assuming. I don't like immediate. I don't like immediately demanding sexual favors from women, even if they are a stripper. I want you to be grateful. A lot. Point me at the hunter. She works over at the Sinbin now. Her hair's blonde. On the top. Mm. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Gotcha. I will reappear with their blood on my smile. Okie dokie. Nope, no topless chicks for you guys. Once they can figure out how to... There we go. So basically now we have two things to do at the Sunbin. Interrogate the smut peddler on, you know... That snuff film. And kill a hooker. <laughs> oh boy, guys, we're in Hollywood and we get to kill an actual hooker. Well, stripper, but you know what? <sighs> They're both related to sex. Although I do have to admit, pole dancing actually is good exercise. I'm too heavy to take pole dancing classes, but I've pants. been... Hot pants? That's... Wow, that's the lamest pickup line I've ever heard. Ah, the Prince of Porn! <laughs> <laughs> prince of Porn? Yeah! Flynn, the Prince of Porn, the Senator of Smut, the Duke of Depravity. I like you, honey. You're a little weird, but hey, this is Hollywood. The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the Sin Bin. Deprave ain't a four-letter word here. You know what I'm talking about? No. I need to mine your gray matter. Yeah? What do you want to know? This guy's kind of creepy. Do you know of Death Mask? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? I like how his face just kind of changes like, oh, the, oh, uh. I have the terrible tape. A tape? You mean the tape? You've got a copy of it? Have you seen it? The horror. The horror. <laughs> Look, ma'am, get the hell out of here, all right? What? Excuse I don't want you. Any part of that scene. I hear people seeing that tape ain't been coming home for dinner. I don't deal in that kind of stuff anyway, so just take it somewhere else. Tell me where I can find Death's mask. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. Wow, rude. Prince of Porn, I need your aid. No way, man. Now either you buy something or get out of here. Mm. What can I do? Yeah? What do you... I guess we're gonna have to bribe him. Forget it, man. Gosh. Well, that changes... No way, man. Damn it. Well, I mean, I guess after we do this, we might have enough to raise our persuasion or something, and maybe that might help. Alright, first thing you want to do. Either, if you have this, if you found the sledgehammer by now, which I guess I never did. Oops. 
Um, you can bash it, or you can just pick the lock. Get, get, you know, get yourself some free money. Whoa, what the? Oh, uh, shit. Oops. Okay, I can... Wait, damn it, wrong thing. I'm gonna have to feed so hard after this. Oh, God. Okay. Take this. How much money do I have? Eh, but I want to use this money to buy juice boxes. Anyway, you want to pick this, too. Oh, wait, I did succeed it? What the hell? It's, I thought it could have sworn it said I failed. Okay. Let's see. As if the password wasn't a dead giveaway. Lockdown. Now we basically just... Wait for these guys to leave. <laughs> the animation in this is so clunky. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you better leave. Pervert. Okay. Nobody in there, nobody in there. Hello. You're rather scantily clad. Why can't I talk to her? Yeah. What are you there looking we go. for, honey? A provocative private party. <laughs> okay, 200 bucks for 10 minutes. Anything you want, you just gotta make it quick, alright? <sighs> alright. Just meet me in the Pleasure Palace, the room Yeah, I really did. I could've sworn my persuasion was high enough, but no, well. Alright, chastity is in there. Let's pick a tool for the trade. You can't use guns for this, mind you. Because otherwise, Velvet will complain about that. And, you know, we want to get as much EXP as we want as this. Damage potential, lethality... Yeah, we're gonna go with the Shingunto on this. Eh, Shingunto, Fire Axe, eh. Yeah, Fire Axe, their best bet. Alright, you know what? We're, we're probably gonna want to pop a blood pack because our blood is so low right now. Alright, come here, sweetheart. Ah! What the f Almost. And pop one of these. Dead. And she can we pick this up. Oh wait, no, we already have a sheet gun tone, don't we? Okay. And if you are broken and battered from your fight with her. You can go talk to well, her. Here we are. You got something specific in mind? Because the clock's ticking, honey. All right. It's your dollar. Oh, well, nobody here can watch us, so... Come here. There we go. Oh, I wasted $200. I'd, ra I'd really rather not have. Oh well. Actually, wait, is there anything else in here that I can steal? Anything? Wait a sec. Okay, that's good, but just, um... Sorry about that, just for a second there, like, I didn't see the timer or anything. I'm like, wait, was I not recording at all? That scared the hell out of me. Okay. Well, I wouldn't really say scare per se. That was a bad choice of words. Is there anything in here? Uh, I guess I'm getting shit. Uh, now we have to waste 500 more dollars. Unless we can raise our persuasion by visiting Velvet. Just Well, we can get more money. Uh, fuck it. 
What can I do to- Nah. Yeah. Nah. Hollywood. Wait, damn it, no. Yeah? Forget it, man. Gash. Ah, take your blood money. Uh, okay. So look, all I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, the moon is a terrible mistress, or some creepy shit like that. What then? And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread? Supposedly you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I've never tried it. Scared the shit out of me. Makes sense. I leave to remove Death's mask. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now. I kinda can't. Your short smells soiled. Farewell. <laughs> Alright, time to go get the information out of this payphone. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a tasteful club name. Good to see that the wires are still having really fucked up wind physics. Alrighty. I assume he means the one over here, because I hear it ring a ding dingin'. Yes. The moon is a mysterious. What the hell happened to the moon? It just like flew out of my hand. What the hell? Who walks in the night with demons of dread? The Lucky Star Motel. Room two. Don't be long. I am no I'm uh, only as long as my libido. Farewell. There is something that we have to do there for Velvet, so we're gonna go and turn we're gonna go ahead and turn that quest in about chastity. Or chastity? Chastity? I don't remember. Because there's another quest that involves you going to the Lucky Star Motel for Velvet. No topless chicks for you guys. Well, technically they're not even topless. They're wearing nipple pasties, but still. That was kind of lewd. <laughs> Hello. Who's back? Doll. That's Miss Vanilla to you. Wow, sorry. Mm-hmm. Hunter hunted. Hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Let's see. She made our choice. It was her decision. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. Let's see. I think we have to go. Oh, there we go. David Hatter. A patron? Did he not tip well? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. Aww. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? He's in my head! <laughs> no. <laughs> it's about Kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kain is? Death, 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 death. Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. So. Hatter's play must remain unfinished and, uh, and in a lot of pieces, because I can only assume she would uh, she would not want us to kill him if she's so close to him. I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is Kindred. 
You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. Gotcha. There will be no problem when I am through. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I like talking sure about my talk writing about too, even though I'm terrible at it. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. My ways are many and hilarious. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. Whoa, why don't you buy me a drink first or something? First the hatter, then the chatter, then I matter, and then and then I matter to the doll. Just I really love the Malkavian's creative way of speaking. Depriving you once more of topless women. Sorry guys, but this is YouTube. I, I don't want mature rated stuff. I don't want to. Eh. I don't want to get in trouble for posting mature rated stuff on here. Well, stuff that's deemed too hot for YouTube. Anyway, so in the next episode, we're going to head on down to the Lucky Star Motel and not only talk to this David Hatter guy, but we're also going to, I guess, pick up that snuff tape. Anyway, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. See you, uh, see you soon, everybody. I really need to stop recording when it's so late. Bye, everybody.